Good morning. Do you wake up in pain? Almost everyone does. You're not strange for waking up in pain. Let me put my syringe away. I know this makes a lot of people nervous, but I'm a nurse, so I need it. And you need to wake up feeling better faster. I have some tips. First of all, why do we wake up feeling sore? You need to take into account first the things that you did the day before. If you work out, warm up before, stretch after. Just for the average person, have you done anything out of the ordinary? Were you wheeling bricks in a wheelbarrow or hauling furniture around? You should attend to physical activities that are abnormal with the same activity you would working out. Stretch before, warm up before and stretch afterward. Um, consider how much water you're getting in in the day. Consider the surface that you're sleeping on. The rougher the surface, the rougher you're going to feel. Also, scientists have proven that our natural anti-inflammatories turn off while we are asleep. That is why all of our joints and muscles ache when we wake up. Even if we've kept proper posture, drank enough water, stretched, haven't done anything out of the normal level of our activity for a day. If we work out, we take very careful care of ourselves. We sleep on a proper bed. We still wake up sore. That is another reason why it is important to get bright light, preferably natural light, on your eyes as soon as you can upon waking up. Because the natural light will increase your mood, but any bright light in your eyes within the first two to five minutes of waking up hits receptors in the back of your eyes and tells you that it is morning and shuts down your circadian rhythm, which kicks in those natural anti-inflammatories. Have you noticed that as the day goes on, you start to feel better? That's because your sleep cycle is shifting off and your anti-inflammatories are turning on. So to increase your mood, natural light spectrum, to Turn those anti-inflammatories on as soon as possible. Bright light in your face within a few minutes of waking up. And you also get a dopamine hit for doing that. You are rewarded because in nature we wake up to the sunrise. It's part of our natural circadian rhythm. And we get a dopamine hit and those pain receptors start to kick in. So you will be happier, more alert, and in less pain faster than if you just lay in bed languishing in your pain. Before you get out of bed, wiggle your muscles, then stretch, squeeze, clench, and stretch your muscles. Have you ever seen a cat? They sleep a lot. As soon as they wake up, they stretch. Lower and upper. Do a big stretch. That's normal. It's normal because it activates blood flow, oxygen, and the natural painkillers that our brain makes to enter into our joints and our muscles. So as much as you may hurt and as much as you may not want to, you're going to want to get up and walk around as quickly as possible. Put light in your face, a bright light. Stretch, move your body and gently stretch your body out because that will get blood flow, oxygen, and painkillers all naturally produced going to your body and a hit of dopamine. Also, you can put cold water on your face because we have something called the dive response and your body can't tell if you put cold water right around your eyes, your body cannot tell the difference as if you had just jumped into an ice cold pond. You know how alert that would make you. So 
putting cold water right around your eyes, it's the same effect. And your heart rate drops, everything calms down, and you feel more alive and more alert. So move your body, stretch your body, water to the face, bright light first thing. Get out of bed as quickly as possible because that suppresses and confuses the dopamine release you're supposed to get and the painkillers you're supposed to get naturally. If you're on natural painkillers, this can be an especially difficult time for people with rheumatoid arthritis or other type conditions. You can speak with your doctor about a morning dose until those natural capacities kick in better. But don't change your medication without talking to your doctor. Also, don't drink too much caffeine. Not only do we quickly become dependent on caffeine, but a large amount of caffeine dumped in will leave you waking up and crashing later. It will also cause you to have rapid heart rate and anxiety. Uh, try to wake and sleep without an alarm. Try to go to sleep at the same time and wake up at the same time. Once you get doing this over and over and over, you may deprive yourself of sleep for a short period of time, but waking up not to an alarm is best because if you're woken from a deeper sleep cycle, you're supposed to go deep, middle, light, awake. The worse you're going to feel when you wake up from a deep sleep cycle. And if you wake up when the alarm says, hey, it's time to get up, there's no guarantee you're going to be in the lightest sleep stage and feel your best when you wake up. So try to sleep without an alarm. Train yourself to go to bed at the same time every night, every night, every night. And eventually your body will get to its own rhythm where you don't need to use an alarm. If you do need to use an alarm, set it 90 minutes apart so you can get a full sleep cycle in between one alarm and the other alarm telling you to get up so that you come out of the lightest sleep possible so you feel the best possible. Also, don't stare at screens, bright lights, anything an hour before bed so you will get better sleep. The better sleep you have, the better you're going to feel in the morning. So removing screen time, bright lights, turning the lights down in your house, not having the TV going, um, not staring at your phone in the middle of the night, it interrupts your sleep and you're going to feel worse for it. Hopefully these tips helped you have a better morning better feeling morning, more able to tackle the day, better mood when you have a better morning. You can't even do your morning routine if you feel too bad. So good morning. Hopefully this helped you.